Unity's theme of the year has been to play intense, and they didn't let up at all last week. Against Southeastern, Reed Bensinger begins the pressure and picks up the steal here. Eventually, he dishes to Andrew Jansen, who completes the alley-oop lay-in for the bucket. Hannibal showed they are for real thanks to a Saki Turkey tournament win last week. Jay Jones' quickness impresses everyone as he comes up from behind with the big rejection. It later results in a transition bucket for Logan Hicks and the Pirates. Camp Point Central kept busy this week on a hoops overload. Over in Augusta, Adam DeRoss gets his points on the board in a creative way with the up and under land that goes sky high before dropping into the hoop. Payson Seymour could well be the fastest team in the Tri-States on the floor. On the fast break last week, Jake Voss will hit Landon Epperson on the run. Landon's no look up and under falls through, and the Indians move on to a win. Quincy High began the season in search of its eighth Thanksgiving tournament title in the last 10 years. One win away from it against Algonquin Jacobs, the full court press works to full effect. Early in the third, D'Angelo Dean will swipe the inbound pass and come up with a flush to punctuate a successful tournament for the Devils. After a tough week, Camp Point Central had a shot at some redemption on Saturday afternoon. Doug Weiss is impressive from end to end for the Panthers, first coming up with the swat on defense. After recovering, he'll take it all the way down to the other end and finish by rolling the ball in for two. There isn't just one man that can throw down at Blue Devil Gym. Friday night, new starting point guard Cole Abbey will wow everyone by dribbling out of trouble and wait for the seed to part. He then takes full advantage and skies to the hoop for a slam that helps take UHS to a big win.